What's the best kind of doctor for menopause or perimenopause? If you're a woman in perimenopause or menopause, has a doctor or healthcare provider ever had you feeling maybe unheard, unlistened to, invisible, dismissed, maybe even patronized? If so, this video is for you. Stay to the end to get help with your hormones from somebody who really knows what they're doing and somebody who really cares. I'm Steve Goldring from SimpleHormones.com. I help patients and healthcare practitioners with easy to understand patient education resources. Most of those are about hormone optimization and I specialize in helping women in menopause with solutions to their hormone problems. A few years back, a mentor of mine encouraged me to hold back on that solution before I started in on hormones to help with menopause. He said I should really sit with their problem first. I needed to deeply understand what these women were going through. I needed to empathize with women and really feel their pain. Well, obviously, I, as a man, can't experience menopause and all of its life-changing symptoms for myself. I can't, and I certainly wouldn't want to. But I did take my mentor's advice to heart. Since that day, I've really looked for women in perimenopause and women in menopause. I've asked literally thousands of them about their experiences. The stories that I've heard over and over again have been nothing but heartbreaking, sometimes even bringing me to literal tears. I feel your pain, if only secondhand. I sent out a survey a few years ago where I asked, what's the single biggest problem, issue, or concern that you have right now when it comes to menopause? My biggest challenge is just not feeling right every single day. It's been going on now for about 15 months. Anxiety has kicked my butt with physical symptoms ranging from shortness of breath, chest pains, some days not even wanting to leave the house. I have never felt like this before. I'm now dealing with acid reflux. I would be happy with hot flashes and the common things that tend to go along with menopause. I'm four months without a period now, and I'm really hoping these symptoms cease soon. I feel like I've aged 50 years. I have severe problems with night sweats, hot flashes, insomnia, extreme fatigue, headaches, constant and continuous pain throughout my body, irritable bowel syndrome symptoms, vaginal dryness, brain fog. I am miserable. Awful mood swings, fatigue, panic attacks, hot flashes, no sex drive, vaginal dryness, no energy, insomnia, depression, at times, I had thoughts of ending my life. Well, in the past year, I've had 80,000 views of my YouTube videos. I've received over 450 comments and questions from viewers. What's the best way to stop hot flashes and other menopause symptoms? This comment was particularly moving from a woman who said, You keep saying we are not alone, but you are wrong. We are alone. I've had horrible night sweats since 2018. My family doctor and my endocrinologist advised me to try everything natural, but not hormone replacement therapy or bioidentical hormones, so I did. I started by reading medical journals, medical studies, books, blogs, forums. I did try everything and spent thousands on various supplements, therapies like Reiki, homeopathy, Bowen, acupuncture, naturopathy, traditional Chinese medicine. Keto worked, but gave me kidney stones. Running and exercising increased the night sweats. I gave up alcohol completely in 2018 and sugar. Some supplements worked for a while. All that worked took about three weeks to start working and then worked for two or three months. I have months in a row of maximum accumulation of three hours of sleep, sometimes less. There are no words to describe my night sweats. I imagine hell being similar. Most nights I have them every hour of the night starting at 12 a.m. and lasting until 7 a.m. Zopaclone, which is a sleeping pill available in Canada, did nothing. The night sweats are so powerful, they wake me up from the grave. My doctor prescribed Paxil for the night sweats. I had a horrible jaw-clenching reaction after five days. I had to stop. I couldn't swallow my saliva. My throat didn't work. I'm a very happy person. I love life and people, and I have many hobbies. But it is very difficult for me to want to continue to live like this. But I am so tired. I'm in Canada and I'm waiting now for a, my appointment with a BHRT specialist, my last hope. I hope I can make it alive. Well, this poor woman had a doctor, more than one, tell her to try everything natural but not hormone replacement or bioidentical hormones. 
Her doctors were apparently afraid of hormones. This really sad story isn't very unusual. There's so many doctors who are afraid of hormones, which is a big reason why their patients are afraid. Paxil for night sweats? Well, a few small studies show that antidepressants like Paxil might have some effectiveness for hot flashes and night sweats, but it's really a band-aid solution. Doctors fear hormones, and they would prefer to throw band-aids at one or two menopause symptoms like maybe Paxil for hot flashes. Some doctors are just not very well informed. Laura says, I feel like I'm on my own to figure out all my symptoms as my primary care provider is not very knowledgeable about perimenopause. The majority of women I hear from are in the US where frankly, it feels maybe a little bit more hopeful. It's not great, but at least it's better than in other countries. Lames in Saudi Arabia tells me that premenopause and menopausal women in my country are suffering a lot. And the only advice the OBGYN will give is take soy milk. Avril in India says the OBGYNs in India are very old school and they don't value the woman's opinion, especially if she says something about seeing something on YouTube. Why do women in menopause suffer for years, decades even? Why can't anyone show her the real solution to her menopause issues? I believe it's hormone replacement, replacing the hormones that are lost. Well, it's pretty clear. It's fear, fear of hormones. Patients who email me from all around the world feel the same way. I live in Dublin, Ireland, and I'm going through perimenopause. It's my experience that our GPs are not comfortable around HRT, mostly due to the breast cancer risk. I wonder if there's anyone that you can recommend in Ireland. It would be better if they were in Dublin because I need to trust the professional who's gonna monitor my hormone levels and be willing to listen to my feedback. She emailed me to say, I think many women in Sweden find it hard to be listened to by just about any doctor. The incompetence when it comes to hormonal health and menopause is monumentally bad in far too many places. Many times my feeling is that we're on the level of a developing country. This is in Sweden, by the way. Truthfully, yes, really that bad. Doctors are scared to death, ignorant, and trying to scare or defer patients as well. A lot of gaslighting. I've seen three different doctors in a short period of time and all said no, blank, no. One doctor couldn't distinguish between progesterone and medroxyprogesterone. They are all synthetic. I honestly don't know if I should laugh or cry at the stupidity. It's really bad. Well, the doctors I work with aren't afraid of hormone replacement therapy. They understand the root problem underneath menopause. The root problem in menopause isn't a Paxil deficiency. It's not depression or anxiety. It's not weight gain. It's not mood swings or irritability. It's not vaginal dryness or painful intimacy or low sex drive that affects your marriage. It's not insomnia keeping you from sleeping over three hours a night for weeks or even months. And it's not even the hot flashes or the night sweats. As bad as all those symptoms can be, and I've heard dozens, maybe even hundreds more stories about how difficult these symptoms are, as bad as they are, the real problem in menopause, the root problem, is the loss of your hormones. The healthcare providers that I work with know that getting your hormones just right is really the only safe and effective way that you can accomplish the two most important goals in menopause. Goal number one is to eliminate all the symptoms of menopause or the symptoms of perimenopause or whatever hormone issue you have. The second goal is to reduce your long-term health risks at the same time. All these providers I work with know that unless you address the root problem, those low hormones, you'll only be putting a band-aid on serious, possibly life-threatening problems. The healthcare practitioners that I recommend also recognize what the medical literature confirms. Replacing those missing hormones with the same exact hormones, they're chemically identical to the hormones your body used to make, that's the safest treatment for menopause symptoms. Just right levels of an estrogen called estradiol is the single most effective treatment for symptoms like hot flashes, menopausal weight gain, irritability, night sweats, vaginal dryness and painful intimacy, joint pain, 
There's a whole long list of other menopause symptoms that estradiol makes a difference in. Multiple randomized controlled trials show that estradiol in menopause does not increase the risks for breast cancer or heart disease. Then there's progesterone. Just right levels of progesterone, and not, I'm not talking about a synthetic, super potent version of progesterone like medroxyprogesterone, but progesterone is the single most effective treatment for menopausal insomnia, depression, and anxiety. In addition to those, progesterone, it's the same as progesterone made by your ovaries, is protective against endometrial cancer that can result from estrogens that are unopposed by progesterone. The healthcare providers I work with all know that not only is replacing estradiol and progesterone safe and effective, but they also know that optimal levels of these hormones have been shown to improve long-term health risks. Just right levels of estradiol and progesterone can prevent osteoporosis. That's the reason older women end up with a broken hip and in a nursing home. They can prevent endometrial cancer, colon cancer, reduce the risk for insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes, reduce the chance that you get Alzheimer's, reduce heart disease, which is the single biggest killer of women over 50, and even reduce the risk of breast cancer. Rates of breast cancer increase dramatically after menopause. If you're in menopause and any of these stories resonate with you, I know somebody who might be able to help. Click the link that says find someone who cares in this video. Fill out my patient referral request form on my website. I have a few hundred provider contacts all over the US and some in Canada. I have a few in other countries, but not very many. The providers I work with all care deeply about the hell you're going through. They know that just right hormone levels are one of the main keys, along with diet, exercise, and some other lifestyle changes, to eliminating all your symptoms and protecting you from long-term health risks. Well, I can't guarantee I know someone in your town, but I can give it my best shot. If you're a healthcare practitioner, I'd love to help you out in one of three different ways. The first is that I can send some patients your way, patients who are desperate for some hormone help. Again, there are no guarantees, but I'll see what I can do. Second, I can send you my top 10 menopause articles. This is a little bibliography of the 10 most important clinical trials and reviews from peer-reviewed journals. I've sort of focused in my list on the articles that have been published in the last eight to 10 years, roughly. I've also emphasized articles about how optimal hormones can both eliminate menopause symptoms, and reduce long-term health risks at the same time. The third thing I can help you with is I have digital patient education courses available that you can send your patients through. Digital patient education can get your patients on the same page with you faster, saving you and your staff time and reducing frustration. To learn more about these Simple Hormones resources for providers, click the link that says Provider Resources, and I'll get them right out to you. If this video has been helpful at all, click the like and subscribe buttons to get notified anytime I post a new one. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll look forward to talking to you again soon.